Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain State here on White Mountain TV 16. As you can tell by the smiling spaghetti that uh, Beth Cardadolin is here from Joseph Spaghetti Shed. How are you, Beth? I'm good, Rob. How you doing? Wonderful to see you today. Nice Thank day you. outside. Good it is, fall. yeah. Weekend yeah. here in the mountains. Losing Washington. the leaves now, but it's yeah, still, still gorgeous. They're coming down pretty quick. <laughs> so, so how's everything going? How was your summer? Very busy, very busy summer. Um, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces, and and um, yeah, it was. It, there were. I think everybody was busy. Yeah, it, it was. Ju- there were just a lot of people here in the valley. So, well, that's awesome. Yeah, and, and let's give um, kind of give a little. Uh, what is Joseph's Spaghetti Shed? I mean, obviously, most of the people who are watching know, but. For those don't know, but you've also made some improvements. We have. We've done made a few changes to the building. It is it is exactly what it says. <laughs> <laughs> it is a shed. It was originally um, my dad's sugar house, and he always wanted to have a restaurant. Um, and I'd always in my jobs, you know, when I was young, I'd always been in the service industry and worked in restaurants. And I said, "All right, Dad, let's do it." I had worked on it college, and and I had made. In, in four weeks' time, I had made quite a bit of money working for a moving company, and he picked me up at school, and he said, well, we either need to sell the place or we need to do something. And I handed him all the money that I made. Oh, wow. And I said, all right, Dad, let's do it. So in a month's time, we put the place together, and we started just serving breakfast, and then within two weeks, we were doing breakfast and lunch. And then about four years in, he really wanted to go into serving dinner, and he'd been out to California, and he came back. He said, I know what I want to do. And, and he'd been to a place called the Spaghetti Factory, where basically all they served was Italian food, spaghetti yeah. and Italian food. Um, so that's what we did. That's awesome. And that was, we're now into our 35th year of the restaurant. Wow. And so we've been doing this, just the spaghetti end of it for about 31 years. Yeah. Um, and then... After my dad passed away, I, we had been doing three meals a day, um, which became more and more difficult because, as most people know in the Valley, it's, it's really tough to find help. Right. And to find staff to work shifts all day long was just really tough. So we really focused on dinner, and, which is good. And we literally, in the summertime, we work all day prepping. For the dinner. For, yeah. To do dinner. So, I mean, we are still working all day to get ready for dinner. And it just grew, and then I expanded the menu a little bit. Um, when I first started, it was literally just spaghetti, and now we do have um, my homemade lasagna. Um, we do have a uh, couple different types of ravioli. Um, um, we d- had a few um, non-Italian things. Right now, we just have shepherd's pie on the menu that's non-Italian. Yeah. But we can, we can do other things for people. Um, and of course, we're always dealing with food allergies now, and. And um, gluten-free is tough because it's a spaghetti place right, and, exactly, and, and yeah. a bakery. So it's, it's yeah. like there's a lot of flour around. But we really do our best to try to help people. And, and, um, but, yeah, it's just it's grown. The business has grown. Um, but, you know, it's simple food. It's not fancy. But it's satisfying and there's plenty of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have pizza as well. We have really great pizza. A lot of people come in and they're like, oh, I didn't know you had pizza. We have, we have great pizza and lots of different flavors. We have a Greek shrimp pizza. Yeah. We have a Southwest pizza. Um, we have different combinations that you don't find everywhere. So. And it's, it's a fun place. The decor and everything inside is fun, casual and yet fun. And you just uh, kind of expanded out into your we waiting did. area. We did. I expanded the waiting area, and I, I, put, in a, I put in a bar. It's, we, we only have a beer and wine license, um, and so it's, you know, that it's more for folks that are, through the summer, it was more for folks that were waiting for tables. Right. Um, we had a waiting area, but it was quite small. And in the summer, we'll have a wait of 35, 45 minutes. And I found we were losing people because they didn't really have a place to wait. Yeah. Um, and and so this way, we've expanded it. There's more seating. Um, they can get a glass of wine or a beer while they wait. And I found that it it made people feel more comfortable waiting. Sure. So they waited. So I think it really helped us a lot. Well, that's great. And now that we're – and we couldn't serve food at the bar because the kitchen just couldn't handle that. But now we're at a point where if you want to come in, we've got a nice big TV. 
If you want to come in and watch the Red Sox, if you want to come in and watch the Patriots, <laughs> don't ask me to put on the Jets or the Giants yeah, yeah. or that. <laughs> there are some rules at Joseph's. And the- um, but, but if you want to come in and watch the game, or if you're by yourself and you're not comfortable sitting at a table by yourself, and you just right. want to sit at the barn and have something to eat, we definitely can do that. Oh, that's great. That. Yeah. That's yeah. great. So, so, uh, and now you, you're you probably kind of shifting into a fall-winter schedule. So yeah, what well, is the schedule now? This, I, I'm closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, once Labor Day comes, I close Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah. Um, and But we're open Thursday through Monday. Um, and we're, we open at 4.30. Um, depending on how busy it is, we close between 8 and 9. Yeah. If it's a Thursday night, we haven't had anybody walk through the door <laughs> since quarter of 7. We're probably going to close at 8. Um, always a good idea to give a call just to find sure, out. Um, sure. And, um, it, you know, it's just, but but Tuesday, uh, excuse me, t- when, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm closed. Yeah. Um, Christmas vacation week, I'll be open every night. Uh, February vacation, obviously, open every night. That is if I can staff it. Right. Uh, yeah. Staffing in the Valley, as most people know, is a little tough, but uh, we we have a great staff. Um Really friendly, very kid-oriented restaurant, being so Absolutely. close to Storyland. Yeah. But we all have kids, and we know what it's like to take your kids out yeah. to eat. And 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 so um, we have a children's menu, and and we do try to cater to families, and we're very understanding of what it's like to go out to with go children. Out, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We, we've all been there. there. There are those times you go like, okay, with this kid, we're not going to go out to dinner for right. two years. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Know that well, and we can quickly pack things to go. I've been there where you know the food comes and the kid is just not ready. They are ready to go, and it's just we can pack it up and send you on your way. And now you do also, so you bring it up um, to go meals and ready to go meals. We do, yeah. I'm still working on building that. You know, my time just always seems to get so thin. Um, I do, I do usually have pints and quarts of frozen sauce in the front yeah. freezer. Um, I will be working on getting. Um, most everything I do is frozen just because if it's not, you have to be very careful. Make sure things get rotated if it doesn't sell, you know. Right. And, and time flies so fast that sometimes, you know, that might get overlooked, and I don't want that to happen. Absolutely. So everything I do out of the front, um, I do out of the freezer. Um, so I will be restocking with lasagna and eggplant and meatballs, and, but I usually always have sauce. Um, but people can call and order takeout. Um, If you're having a family gathering and you want to order pans of lasagna or pans of chicken, broccoli, Alfredo, or, you know, I definitely could do that. The best way to get in touch with me to to do that type of thing is my is my email address, josephsspaghettished at gmail.com. And most of that information to contact me. I have a blog. It's on my Facebook page as well. Um, But that. Email is the best way to get me if you wanted to order ahead of time. Yeah. Plus, we also do takeout. You know, if you just, you know, if you're up here, you don't feel like going to a restaurant, but you want some nice hot food. We d- we do normally do takeout. Busy, busy nights when the restaurant's really, really busy, we have to shut that off. We have to take care of our in-house guests right. first. Right. Right. Um, Absolutely. It's not fair to someone if they've waited 35 minutes for a table to have to wait longer for their food because I'm. Doing takeout, oh, I absolutely. just I feel I feel I know a lot of people might say, oh, you gotta t- you gotta do it all, and I, I just it's not fair to my customer who waited that long. So, you know, I have to have priorities. <laughs> oh no, absolutely, absolutely. Now let's also talk about the bakery portion. Yeah, and uh, because well, I don't see any whoopie pies in that's front of me I today. Slept late. I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> but uh, but that's okay because uh, oftentimes Beth will arrive here with her whoopie pies, and Hans and I leave very happy. Uh, but I know I can swing by and get whoopie pies. Yeah, too. But, but let's talk about the, the bakery end of it. Yep. Um, I don't have a storefront. The name of my bakery is the Sugar Maker Bakery. Right. Um, but if you go by the restaurant, you're not going to see a sign for it because everything I do is um, by appointment and by order. That way it's fresh. It's done right then, right there. Right. Um, I make all the desserts for the restaurant. Um, but I do weddings and I do birthdays and now we're coming into pie season. I do a lot of pies for Thanksgiving and, and desserts for Christmas. And um, again, best way to contact me is, is my email address. Um, I'm, I'm in and out going all the time, so sometimes fo- I miss phone calls. Yeah, um, sure. But emails, 90% of the time I'm going to see it almost as soon as it comes to me. And then I can look at the calendar and say, yes, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Um, but everything is to order. Um, I do a lot of weddings, and I don't just do cake 
I do whoopie pies. I do cannolis. I do cookies. I do, I do all kinds of stuff. The fun it's stuff very too. Fun. Yeah, it's that's very great. fun. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy it. That's and, awesome. And I, yeah, that I can't believe that I've been doing for eighteen years. That second business. So I think last year I swung by. It was right around Halloween, and you were making like. Like spider whoopie pies or something. Yes, uh, or something. because I was going to a party and I, yeah, I, yeah, I was doing spider. They I were had, really yeah. cool. Yeah, <laughs> they weren't ready yet, though, unfortunately. But, but well, yeah, that, I have I have weddings that I do like all whoopie pies, and it'll be pumpkin whoopie pies and traditional whoopie pies and red velvet whoopie pies and chocolate chip whoopie pies. That I just you can do a lot of do a lot with whoopie yeah. pie, absolutely. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. So uh, now, uh, the, how do you describe where you're located? Um, I am in Glen, and I usually tell people I'm a mile and a half west on Route 302 of the intersection in Glen. So it, at that intersection where the Dairy Queen is and the Irving and Grant Supermarket, if you went a mile and a half west on Route 302 towards Atatash, I'm on the left-hand side. Very easy to find. Yep, yep. My Very new easy. green roof really shows up. I know. Up, so. It looks great. It looks great <laughs> there. So, well, that's awesome, Beth. It's always, it's always good to have you by. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, it's amazing that we're gearing up and starting to think about winter. Yeah, and, and every Monday I do my Dine to Donate. You do, absolutely. Yeah, no, um, no. I'm, my Dine to Donates, I donate 20% of my total sales to a local nonprofit or charity. And those have been very successful. Um, this week I have Carroll County um, Child Advocacy Center. This Great. is the first time I've had them in. Uh, last week we had Bartlett Rec, which was hugely successful. Um, next week is Conway Area Humane Society. So every Monday I have, the, the only Monday I don't have booked is um, Veterans Day, November 12th. There's a, there's a good chance I may not be open that Monday. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be away and I've had some staffing things come up. So that Monday, we definitely do not have a dime to donate. But yeah. All the rest of my Mondays through um, the middle of December, I am booked. They always go to help a worthy cause. Um, it's usually a school group, a local nonprofit. Sometimes it's to help a local person with medical bills. Yep. Um, and 20% of the total sales take out everything. Yeah, goes, which is awesome. Goes to that that fund and and um, it's it's been great because it's introduced a lot of new people to the restaurant. Yep. They've come to support something and they've never been to the restaurant before. And I have some diehard locals now that, that came because they came to the Dine to Donate. But it's we're lucky to live in such a fantastic place. We have a really tight-knit community. Absolutely. And, and it's great to be able to give back to that community. And, and that, that makes us really happy and and we we value this community and everything this community is and does and we are happy to be part of that yeah no it's awesome so every monday night so you can plan on that yeah every monday know that if you go i always say make your monday matter yeah you know if you go out your part of what you're paying for is going to go to help somebody that's terrific yeah terrific well beth thanks so much for coming by and uh, good to see you (laughs) and of course uh, check out joseph's spaghetti shed right there a mile and a half past uh, the intersection heading towards Attach. And just try all the great food. Just go in and just eat it all. Yeah, there you go. It's good stuff. <laughs> Back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.